Hi guys, I'm Pastor Chris, and this is your Discipleship Minute. For the last few weeks, we've been talking about biblical generosity. Not tithing, although that is involved in generosity, uh, but that's the wrong starting point. The Bible's starting point for generosity is God's generosity towards us. And any generosity that we display in our life is a response to his generosity with the things that he has entrusted us with. Nothing is ours, everything belongs to him. This week, we're gonna to start to deal with some practical implications of how we can practice generosity in our life. We're gonna start by taking a look at our talents. First Peter chapter four, verse 10 instructs us, as each has received a gift, use it to serve one another as good stewards of God's varied grace. Now there is a lot in that verse that I really can't unpack in the two minutes that we have with the Discipleship Minute. So we're gonna look briefly about just uh, the fact that we have been entrusted uh, with gifts in order to use them to serve one another. We all have something or things that we are good at. The Bible calls them spiritual gifts. Now there are some people out there that have so many things that they're good at, and we just look at them and think that God could use them in an amazing way to build his kingdom. Uh, and then there are some uh, who feel, and we can all get in those moments where we feel like, I really don't know what I'm good at or how God could use me. But when we feel that way, we can be reassured that the Bible is very clear that God gives everybody gifts uniquely. And the real cool thing about it is when we look at scripture, those times when we think that we don't really have any talents or anything uh, unique to be able to offer God, he uses those gifts uh, and calls out the people that you may least think that he would use in a special way to do something really great to demonstrate his power. Secondly, we see how we are supposed to use those gifts to serve one another. We don't have gifts in order to be able to make a lot of money, in order for people to think that we're cool or anything like that. It's simply just to serve and care for one another. And we can think, well, that's not fair. I'm good at this. I should be able to use them for how I want. But in that moment, we need to remind ourselves that the only reason we have that gift is because God gave it to me. How are you going to use your spiritual gift today to serve somebody else? I'm Pastor Chris, and I'll see you on Thursday for your Discipleship Minute.